I wanted to show you uh, some things that uh, happen when you're tilling. <clears throat> so I posted a video recently about um, my son, Rhett, uh, tilling up uh, one of our fields. And uh, <laughs> he pulled up the, the tractor to the yard and uh, something looked a little funny from underneath the tiller. And this is one of the things when you, you start tilling fields that haven't been maintained or, or worked over in, in 20 years, um, you're gonna find some, some interesting stuff. So check out what this tiller does. It's an amazing thing here. So you see, we got a pipe. It just wrapped it in half. I don't know if you can kind of see the, the, uh, the pipe there. It's uh, actually, uh, I don't know if it's lead or steel or what it is, but I'm gonna have to yank that thing out of there in order to uh, get this. You see, it's got a, looks like it's a one inch to a half inch T on the end there. I'm not really sure, but yeah, hopefully didn't do too much damage in there. I don't know how long he was running around with that piece of pipe stuck in there. You can kind of see it from this side here too. And it's just kind of hanging there, wrapped around the tines, but uh, Anyways, that's some stuff you gotta, that's some of those things you gotta watch out for when you're, when you're tilling, but yeah, it's, uh, also look at, this happened just since yesterday, and I feel bad about this, but literally he got done doing this yesterday, and now look at, literally, in overnight, this bird built a nest right on top of the tractor here, and laid its eggs. I hate that I have to move that thing, but uh, it's just not going to last. He literally parked this yesterday. I filmed him out tilling the fields, and that bird overnight built a nest and laid its eggs. So we're going to try to replant that uh, over in that tree over there. Uh, you can hear him squeaking at me now, uh, yelling at me. Uh, I'm just going to set it in one of those limbs, and hopefully, uh, hopefully our little bird friend can not be too angry with me. But y'all have a blessed day, and uh, we'll be back with you soon. Well, I figured we better give this thing a greasing. It, uh, we're just doing uh, culverts of the day for the beaver dam. And of course, the first thing I do is realize I'm out of grease on the very first zerk I go to use. I love it when things don't get put back. There we go, blood air. Shut the bleeder. Get it squishing out of all the orifices. This rotobec is one handy tool. It's uh, when I bought this 306, I went ahead and got this uh, this rotobec at the same time. It's uh, it's been one of the one of the best, most versatile tools that I've had and I'll tell you what I have abused this thing like no one's business I mean crushing stuff and it just just powers through everything of course it's got zerks in some goofy places I don't want to want to operate it right now I'd like to get this greasing done before I head over to to the school to do the to do the uh I needed some lube. Uh, do this rock pile that I gotta clean up and then put in a pad for the playground. So that'll be a, that'll be quite the uh, project. This rotating grapple, being able to rotate it like you do, it, uh, you know, grapples are nice and thumbs are nice on uh, on the skid excavators, but I'll tell you what, the problem with the thumb is, once you have some of the, the newer ones, they have a, uh, I forget what they call it, but it basically it goes all the way. Uh, you can set it so that it'll go to the bucket where the bucket is, but like mine, you have to have the bucket uh, 
you have to have the bucket basically three quarters of the way closed uh, towards the machine before it will grab anything with the thumb. So I really want to get this lower side greased up before we get on in because like I said this part was in the water. This was in the water almost all day yesterday or Wednesday. Yeah, look at that guy. Now she got some water dripping out of his torch here. And she pushed the grease in. She forces it out. And she's pushing out the other side. I hate wasting all the grease as it blows out the other side. But I like to see it come out both sides of the pin, the knuckle. And grease is a lot cheaper than uh, putting pins and re-line boring stuff to make it work. And these sticks, especially this lower stuff, they get run all the time. This is a ton, I didn't really use it much, but we'll just give it a little shot of grease here. And usually I like to work my way from the bottom up, but of course I'm trying to not run the machine right now. I don't think I can get to the the lock greaser. The thumb will be good for now. And I'll get the rest probably when we get there. The ones I can't reach. We'll also get our blade. We actually used the blade quite a bit yesterday. You gotta remember these ones underneath. A lot of times these get forgotten and just this outside one gets done. when my handy helpers are working on it. Hopefully this new audio is not too bad with the... Change my mic here. With the uh, grease machine. I'm gonna make it all the noise here. this too much but give her a couple of shots to be honest with you I usually use an entire tube or more when I do my excavator here just because like I said grease is cheap and uh a lot less money to throw a tube of grease in every other time every eight hours or depends if you're in the water you're gonna do a little more often but i think we should be good to go for today so we can go get some work done make a mess here i like my things clean and neat so next time when i grab it i'm not getting full of grease if i'm just trying to get a something Cleaned up nice. Of course, I got to cut early today. My boy's got a baseball game. It's about 45 minutes away. Of course, it's at 1 o'clock, so it kind of kills the day. But we're going to try to at least go get this rock pile done first thing this morning. And we'll see if we have time to do the do the rest of the deal. Looks like I got a chain stick must have sagged a little bit. Well, we're uh, just got here. Whenever you're unloading and loading, this is probably one of the most important things to look out for, but see those wires that are just over my, I'm not sure if you can see them or not, but there's some wires, overhead wires that are just over my head here. And uh, I uh, gotta be careful for that kind of stuff. When you're, I really like the uh, track, the joystick steer on this excavator it uh, turn that off it uh, sure makes it a lot uh, a lot easier to use the good news is that wire is well below my dump trailer here so I should be able to 
pick through all these rocks and uh, get this thing uh, get this thing loaded up. Um, put it right there. All right. I'm not sure how much dirt I'm going to be grabbing here. I'm a little tippy. I got my back corner on that on that asphalt there. Yeah, there's. I'm not really sure what's all under. I know it's a pile of rocks, but this may take a while. Kind of go through this, and I think I am going to reposition. While I do so, I think I'm going to give you guys a little time lapse here. Let's see if we can set that up. I, uh, I just learned that there is a concrete pad underneath this pile of rocks. So now I gotta decide what am I gonna do with that. I don't know what that is exactly. What sur this well here that you can see, that is actually part of the community center's well. It's actually an easement they have on my property here. Um, but I don't know what is the purpose of the concrete slab. It is just beyond the well here. I wonder if this, I just don't know. What do you think? What do you think it might uh, be? If you, if you have a suggestion or an idea, throw it in the comments. I'd like to know what you think that might be. Uh, you know, this, uh, this old school, I don't know if you can see it behind me here, is uh, built, it's coming up in 19, 1904 it was built so it's coming up on its 100 year uh, 100 year anniversary there actually used to be a teacherage which uh, people are more familiar with the term of parsonage which is where the parson or the preacher would live boy I think I need a, a little I made an I asked the community center I told them that I was gonna be picking up this uh, Picking up this rock pile just because I'm getting tired of having to weed whack around it every time I want to mow. So I was hoping to just put it. They got a little false rock that I'm going to be putting over the top top of this. But now I got a concrete pad. I got to decide what to do with. And honestly, I got to find out if that is part of the easement now or if the well itself, because the easement stipulates that they have access to the property to do any maintenance or, you know, that type of work on only the well. But does this have anything to do with the well? Or an or earlier well, maybe, that, you know, was put in, like a dog well, or I hate to pull this concrete up and then have, uh, have a bunch of... Uh, a big hole I gotta fill or something like that. So I'll have to do some investigating and find out. But yeah, I'd really like to know if anybody watching this has a clue what what you think that might be. Let me know. We'll uh, we'll speed things up again so you guys can watch things back at in the time warp feature so you don't have to sit here the whole time and watch me.
She is heavy. I thought I'd just see if I could move it a little bit, but she's uh, it's pretty heavy. I don't know what it is. I don't want to dig too deep. Power lines running through on the just on the side here, but hmm. Thought I'd just try to reach underneath there, grab the bottom edge there. Can't tell if I'm underneath or not. Mm. Well, let me know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think it is? What do you think this concrete slab right next to their well is? I'm very curious to know. Well, here we are. Uh, we exposed a little more here. Found a few things. So here's the well. We got to figure out, I'm just trying to get the rock pile out of here, and then I found this big concrete pad. I just don't know what it's for. Um, looks like it might be might be cracked right there, or I don't know, it might even just be a pour. And then look at a couple of weird holes. I don't know, it's only about a foot deep, looks like, and a little smaller one. I don't know if somebody's cordial, but then look at this. We got like a, a pipe that was poured into it here. Boy, I don't know, and it's it's pretty deep. I haven't dug out all the way yet to see her. I'm a little worried because the power line there feeds them. The that one's overhead. It goes over to my the apartment building there, the school, the old the old school, the one built in 1924. Um, so, yeah, not sure what I might have to get some. Get some markings done to make sure I don't hit anything and maybe try to identify their water line a little better. But, uh, yeah, I'd really be curious if anybody has any idea what this might be. 